Hi everyone, how are you? So today I am going back to S24 Ultra and to tell you why I am doing so. Now in the previous few months, I have used various phones mm -hmm. like the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the Google Pixel 8a, but ultimately I always, you know, it's something you always miss. There's always something lacking. And actually, when I use the S24 Ultra, it actually satisfies that itch. I mean, this phone is the most complete phone in my opinion. It's not perfect, don't get me wrong. But out of all the phones, I think this is the closest to perfection that you could achieve on a smartphone. Currently, with the current technology. Because it has everything. Now, if you list down 10 features that a flagship has, there are Chinese companies like Vivo, Oppo, who will have better hardware in terms of camera specifications. So they will probably be the top one and two when it comes to the camera picks. But this S24 Ultra will definitely be in the top three, top four. When it comes to features, again, features I mean in terms of software features, probably S24 Ultra is the top most phone in that regard because one UI is full of features and it's very stable operating system, which I cannot say for the operating system of Oppo, Vivo. Even like Pic, I have uh, seen bugs on Pixel devices. I think iOS is the closest which comes uh, to perfection in terms of the software stability. But, you know, they also have their own issues, especially in recent times. So for me, One UI is the closest in the Android field in terms of stability. I mean, closest to perfection. So what I want to say is that if you list down the top 10 features, S24 Ultra is bound to be in the top three, top four in all those things. There are a few things where S24 Ultra will be at the top most, like uh, the S Pen. No, uh, none of the flagships have an S Pen. The feature list that one UI has, you know, Samsung DeX, and the all the bells and whistles that one UI offers even if you use it or not it offers that feature so these two aspects definitely s24 ultra is on top and on camera it is on the top three top four it's a bit of a subjective uh thing uh in terms of absolute build quality the design again for some it will be right at the top for some it will be at least on the top three so so in a nutshell, this is actually the best phone you can buy right now. Now, it depends on, of course, our personal preference. For many people, camera might be the top priority. So they will probably, it is that much important to them that they might go for a Oppo or a Vivo X100 Ultra or some of the other uh, phone which have one inch camera sensor. Yes, that's perfectly justifiable as camera is the most important thing to them. But for me, I value each and every aspect. I cannot live with a bad camera on a flagship or even a good one. I need a very good camera, which S24 Ultra has. I need all the uh, feature rich, uh, you know, some of the features I use. I don't want to use all the features of One UI, but some are very useful for me. So I use them. I use the S Pen to quickly jot down notes. Mm. So all those things actually makes me want to come back to S24 Ultra. Even though iPhone 15 Pro Max is a brilliant phone. It's a dependable phone. It's a consistent phone. But there are a few quirks that I am not very happy about. For example, the notifications on iOS. I don't like it at all. I have my Outlook and my Microsoft Teams and I receive hundreds 200 email messages every day and on iphone it's like all of them i you have to scroll through all the list i mean you cannot swipe them away in the, uh, all together to clear the list on android on s24 ultra you can do that so those kind of small things that makes me want to go back to the s24 ultra pixel has its own issue even though it is android with Pixel, I have the Pixel 8a, by the way. So on Pixel, uh, the 8a has 120Hz screen. 
but not all third party apps support the 120 hertz like twitter you know remember if in earlier days pixel was the benchmark of smoothness when it comes with when it came to android samsung the touch you uh, touch with days so samsung was used to be considered <laughs> lag, uh, laggy compared to a pixel or a nexus device but i think now the table has turned if you look especially if you look at third party apps i mean s24 ultra offers 120 hertz consistently across all the third party apps whether it's twitter now called x facebook or any other third party app pixel only offers 120 hertz on its i think the native google apps youtube and all those Yes, uh, of course, the Pixel uh, UI interface, all those things. And it actually makes a difference how you use it on uh, the phones on a day-to-day -day basis. I tried using Pixel 8a as my daily driver and moved away from this 24 Ultra. Yes, uh, don't get me wrong, there are a few advantages for Pixel 8a. Like uh, it is light, much lighter than S24 Ultra, comfortable, rounded corners. You know, the Pixel software is actually good. And it is comparable to one UI in terms of the smoothness and stability. But yes, those kind of things like a uh, slight jitter while you are scrolling through X or Facebook or Reddit, you know, it made me want to go back to the S24 Ultra. Yes, iPhone also has the same level of smoothness on the third party apps. In fact, some of the social media apps, people will say might work better on iPhone. But for me, this works perfectly because with iphone as i mentioned the, i don't like the notification i don't have the s pen other than that i like iphone but yeah in terms of overall design build quality the s pen functionalities i like the s24 ultra mm -hmm. so that is why i have moved back to the s24 ultra and probably now you know the fold and the flip series are on the horizon so i will probably buy one of them let's see what it brings i'm especially excited about the fold 6 ultra i don't know what difference they'll make i mean the rumors are not that promising when it especially when it comes to the camera or the battery i hope they increase the battery and the camera is a bit better don't get me wrong fold 5 camera are not bad it can still compete on 95 percent of the cases you won't be able to tell a difference but still, I mean, it's not at the same level as an S24 Ultra or an iPhone 15 Pro Max. Also, the weight. I know it's a foldable, but still, uh, I think this time they have, Samsung has managed to bring down the weight. And actually, this time it will be very close to the S24 Ultra weight. S24 Ultra is 234 grams. And the upcoming Z Fold 6, I think, will be around 239 grams. I don't know the, if there will be a difference in S26. Uh, sorry, as Fold 6 and Fold 6 Ultra weight in size. I mean, only time will tell, but I will definitely be buying one of those. And let's see what the uh, improvement they bring to the Flip 6. I'm hoping, I think, I think the most uh, important thing for a Flip phone is the battery size. Because of the design of Flip, they cannot put a huge battery on that. So they will have to rely on optimization. But let's see what the Flip 6 brings. I have not owned a Flip phone for quite some time. But maybe this time I will. Let's see. But generally, last time also I wanted to buy a Flip 5. But ultimately, when I saw the phone, I went with the Fold 5. So let's see what happens this time. But yeah, S24 Ultra, still probably the best of Android. Or probably the best of all the smartphones out there till you know the next iphone 16 pro max i don't know what ai magic they will bring let's see i hope i mean it's competition is always good for consumers so let's see what they bring and what the fold series and the flip series brings and i think you guys know that the pixel 9 series is also have a slight change in the design it retains the overall design language but it's more like uh, flat corners and all those things and I hope they improve the uh, these kind of issues like 120 hertz, 120 hertz not being supported on all third party apps and other things. So yeah, let's see. I know it feels like we are have reached a uh, 
you know peak in terms of smartphones and i think the foldables are the next major innovation when they finally manage to crack it and make it more mainstream but yeah, in terms of the slab phones i think this is the peak they have reached i don't think they can improve it further other than you know improve the camera a little bit there improve the screen a little bit there improve the processor inside and yeah and, and i think i think battery is one thing where they can make an improve improvement the sony the latest sony xperia 6 have a uh, different technology which makes the battery denser so the same battery capacity will actually last you a longer time compared to this s24 ultra or the iphone 15 pro max i hope Samsung also brings in the same technology in their next iteration. Let's see. Only time will tell. And yep, that's what I wanted to say. I, I am moving back to the S24 Ultra using it as my daily driver. I have the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, but I am using the Garmin watch, not the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, because purely because of battery life. I mean, this is one thing. I mean, it's a out of my mind that i don't have to charge my watch also every day so yeah this garmin works fine it gives me two weeks battery life so i don't have to worry about charging it every day that's it guys from my side please let me know if you have any concern comments about uh, using s24 ultra and by the way these things are now at a discount so you don't need to spend that much money probably in uk i think you can get it for around 900 to 1000 pounds around 200 pound discount compared to the launch price in india also i think there is currently discounts being offered so it's a good time to buy this phone because this and this has seven years of software update by the way so if you want a good phone right now want a flagship you don't want to wait go for this you will be set for the next few years so that's it and cheers and please do like and subscribe and continue watching my videos thank you